Milky Monday edition of Let's Talk Entertainment here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. Today we are recapping all the events that happened over the weekend. My name is Becky Settle and I'll be back. You're so welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment here on Joy News on Multi TV. Today we are starting with the Kizalsa. Yes, when was the last time you did something salsa and kizomba? Well, Joy FM put together the Kizalsa, the very first edition. And of course, Let's Talk Entertainment, we were there to capture all the dance moves. Enjoy. <laughs> Experienced dancers and the not so good dancers alike participated in the dance party that blends both salsa and kizomba dance moves to create a totally thrilling kizalsa dance. With DJ Black and Andy Dusty working their turntable magic to keep the kizomba spirit alive and legs is built, leading the dance moves, the patrons, mostly young male and female corporate executives, were totally drenched in the captivating moment. The program started at 6 p.m. on Friday, but as at 12.30 a.m. on Saturday, organizers of the event had to plead with excited patrons to enable them to bring it to a close. They could not have enough of the party. Actor Peter Ritchie, former Miss Universe Ghana Pelamwa and ETV's Kwame Jan were there to grace the dance party, but most importantly, to demonstrate their dancing skills. Organizers say they are glad that they are able to create an ambience for people from the corporate world to meet, have fun, and network. What really did Brent do? We're pay setters. Okay, we're pay setters. And we just want to keep exciting our listeners. So just want to excite our listeners. And you know, it just happened on air. Baba and Lexus were flirting on air as usual. And um, Baba was asking Lexus if she would take her out. And then Lexus went like, okay, let's go dance, you know, um, to Zumba somewhere this weekend. And then they started talking about it. And then we did to our listeners and everybody went like okay we want to join one and then here we are so this is just about what two three days we just talked about this on air and then it just happened very spontaneous yeah 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 very spontaneous it wasn't planned at all are you going to keep it up certainly people are excited so yes i think we're going to blow it up from here kizalsa has come to stay and joy 99.7 fm will be bringing it to its listeners every month keep watching the space so much looking forward to seeing you at the next event where uh, you get to show us your salsa moves and kizomba all in one. Let's move on and talk about the Ghana Meets Niger concert which happened over the weekend at the Accra International Conference Center and those performance, you know, the biggest entry, uh, Shatawale's performance, DeVito, Tiwa Savage. If you were not there, I bring you all the highlights from the 2017 edition of Ghana Meets Niger concert. Typical of most musical shows, the 2017 edition of Ghana Meets Niger concerts kicked off with some exciting performances from mostly underground acts to sort of set the tone for the event. Then came the time for the main artist build for the night. Female rapper Eno, representing Ghana, was the first to perform. She came in a white coffin with her backup dancers clad in black attire chanting and perhaps invoking a spirit to come out of the coffin. This act didn't last long. Within few seconds, Eno was out of the coffin and proceeded with her performance. Wait, for those of you who had second thoughts about the rapper's stagecraft, here is an explanation of why she came on stage in a coffin. 
Actually, people call me Yaya Santua, Yaya Santua of the game, right? So uh, I wanted to tell uh, a story about the resurrection of Yaya Santua. So the coffin thing is we bring in the spirit of Yaya Santua back from the dead, which is me ruling in this country now. Yeah. Nigeria's files was the next performer. With his long African print shirt over his trousers and a hat to match, Faust took patrons through a number of his hit songs, including Soldier Go, Soldier Come, featuring Semi. <laughs> Manifest was next in line to prove to Ghanaians and the whole world that he is, in fact, the God MC. Typical of Manifest, he came on stage dressed in his blue African print with a brown hat to match. He started off his performance with his hardcore rap and then midway changed the mood, bringing out some of his friends, including Wolasi, to perform their hit track, 100%. Then came Nigeria's Beyonce's Tiwa Savage. Together with her backup dancers, she proved to Ghanaians that she is a great performer. The patrons loved it. There's no doubt that Shatter carried the night, but I think the one who put the most effort into their performance was Tiwa Savage. From beginning to end, you could tell that they had worked out a choreography for every single song. Yeah. Performing five times in a row on the Ghana Meets Niger platform, Dan Solak Shatawale had to prove a point. He came on stage lying on a hospital bed with a drip on, acting as though he was in coma. His SM militants were around him calling out his name to wake up. When he finally did, he was helped to wear his clothes and boots on stage. He performed 30 of his songs, including the new one, Low Tempo, featuring his baby mama. Before he left the stage, Shatawale performed his head track, Taking Over, and may have given us a clue of who Sergeant Lee is. <laughs> Your guess is good as mine. To crown the night, Davido joined Shatawali on stage as the last performer on the night. He treated patrons to a number of his hits, including the now popular song, If. <laughs> Shatawale was crowned the best act on the night by the organizers. Considering the success this year's event has chalked, the organizers say they can't wait for the subsequent years to come. Let's talk some gospel show now. We are talking about the SP Coffee Super Live in concert, which happened over the weekend at the National Theatre. We saw so many performances. We saw Episode joining in on stage, Dana McBrown, uh, you know, a lot, a host of others. So, of course, let's talk entertainment. You know how we do it. We give you all the details that you need to know in the world of entertainment. So, yeah, let's get to the details now. The highlights of SP Coffee Sopon in concert. <laughs> And then the and then what's here yeah, is like yeah yeah Michael Jackson of Ghana. I'm Joyce Blessed. <laughs> well, awesome show.
today's edition of Let's Talk Entertainment here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky. Join us same time tomorrow for more exciting edition of Let's Talk Entertainment.